Project 39 mini albums. And this is my crafty goals. And I'm going to show you how to decorate for February. I've already done January's in a video released the last week in January. A little late, but there are reasons. Um, I've done this planner. There is a tutorial on how to make the planner using Graphic 45's Life is Abundant collection. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that because that, that was something fabulous that happened. But let me talk about my goals for the month. For January, um, and by the way, the way that I put all the papers in changed. I'm not doing this. Um, but you'll see it when you, if you want. So I'll be doing a voiceover and showing you how to decorate without talking it through because it's pretty easy and you don't need to sit here and watch my hands any longer. So I'll start that process. And if you go, there is one with my voice explaining what I'm doing again earlier in the month. So check that out. Uh, my goals for January, I just wanted to make sure I stayed current with my collabs and design team commitments. I also was still working on reorganization. I wanted to destash a little bit and get a new paper rack system. Um, I wanted to make sure that I used six paper collections, using them completely. And I also have a, an iris container, a plastic container of, I think there is 116, I don't know exactly the number, of 12 by 12 single sheets. And I want to make sure they go away. Whether I use them or give them away, they need to be gone by the end of February. So I, I worked real hard on that. Um, and you'll see some of that as we go along. So I want to talk about the collections that I used. Actually, I'll go through my little papers here. I used a, a Wizard World collection. It's Photo Play. It was by Becky Fleck. It's like a Harry Potter collection. I actually used it to make Valentine's Day cards, and there will be a, a video coming up, and that'll be on Instagram as well. I used a collection I've had in my stash for a long time. It's a 2016 collection called Dino Friends or Dinosaur Friends or something like that. I had used Snowman and Friends. I did a video on that at the end of December, and I used up the rest of the paper for some Christmas cards. I used Graphic 45's Let It Be collection pack. I used the 12 by 12, 8 by 8, and the Patterns and Solids. I already had made a mini album out of it before, but um, I made something else and used it and also made some cards. I received and, I mean, purchased and used Doodlebugs, Snow Much Fun. I used the 12 by 12 paper pack, the... Um, 12 by 12 double-sided cardstock and I also used up the 6 by 8 collection. I used up two graduation from Echo Park. That's a great collection if you need to do graduation cards or a graduation album. Make sure you get the paper that goes along with it because it's got some weird colors. I used up simple stories, simple vintage love story. I used the collection kit the uh, basics kit and the six by eight pad. And I did use the Life is Abundant eight by eight calendar collection pack. It sounds like a lot and it is. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine collections that I used. Done, completed, nothing left but the covers. And now that I've gone through it, I can um, throw them out because I, I might keep the ones that have cardboard or light cardboard, but that's about it. But I brought in more than I purchased or more than I used. Bum, bum, bum. So that life is abundant. This planner that I'm showing you, uh, I put on the Graphic 45 official Facebook group page and they have a monthly challenge. And the challenge for December was, uh, I think it was hashtag Graphic 45 Planner. And I won. And what's fabulous about that is they don't just send you um, a prize box. You get a $150 gift certificate or 
credit or whatever, and you can spend $150 in their shop. So the good news is that's great. It's always nice to win something. The bad news is that means I brought in more paper, but that's okay. I don't mind. You're going to see a lot of Graphic 45 in the next couple of months because now I need to use it up. And as I talk to you more about my goals, I'm going to be decorating the February pages of my Life is Abundant Planner. So that's what you'll be seeing on the screen. I got another Life is Abundant collection because I wanted to show people how to decorate this. I also got the 12 by 12 collection. I got a small well-groomed, charmed, and warm wishes. So that's the dog, Halloween, and Christmas. I didn't have any Christmas because I don't know if you remember, but I used all my Christmas. And then I was thinking, well, bummer, Christmas in July. I won't have anything to work with. I know there will be some collections available. Some companies bring things out, but there usually isn't a lot. So I did purchase, or you got, that Warm Wishes collection. I think it's beautiful. I also got the Let's Get Artsy. I was on the fence about that, but I did pick it up. And I also got Voyage Beneath the Sea. I've never seen that before. I think it's very cool. And um, I'll see what I can do with it. So let's talk about what else I wanted to do for January. Um, I wanted to make sure that I stayed current with my uh, commitments. I had a graduation album that somebody said, can you make me a graduation album? I said, sure. I don't do custom work, but if they give me, you know, like if they want a baby album, which I did, I made a baby album. And I did bring in that paper and I didn't list that. So that's one that I brought in and one that I used, but I guess I forgot about that. Um, projects for the month. I am part of that Instagram hop every two weeks. So I decided I'm going to do cards every two weeks on Tuesday. So at seven o'clock on Tuesdays, there will be a video on me making cards. And there were three um, posts that I had to do for January. And one was the camper cards, one was the dinosaur cards, and one is using an old stamp set and a new stamp set in the same card. So you will see that coming up. I did organizational videos that I wanted to do. I did a drawer organizer, making boxes, that's how I store things. And then the paper organizers, that's how I keep things neat in my little RV. So those are all done. Um, so I used, actually I used 10, but I obtained 11. So bom, bom, bom. Uh, I did not use more than I bought, but I'm saying bought even though those were part of that prize pack. So technically I didn't buy any, but I'm saying that I bought because they came into my craft room. And most of that is going to be graphic 45. So that is what I planned for January, what I plan to do for February. At this point, I don't have any design team commitments for February. It just happens to be one of those months that I don't. So I'm going to take advantage and try to get ahead on all the things I need to do. Uh, that bi-weekly card challenge, I will try to work up till May. The reason I'm trying to work so far ahead is I live and travel in my RV. Usually we travel and go stay in a place for a month or two. And last year we stayed in a place for four months at a time. So when you're not traveling, there's a lot of time, you know, we're not exploring as much. This year though, we're going full tilt bozo and we're gonna be traveling every, on average, every six days from May until November. Wow, that's a long time. So I'm not going to get that much done, but I'll see a lot. So I'm okay with that. Um, in the beginning of May, I'm going to Country Craft Creations Retreat. So you will see lots about that. Um, I also want to work on, I started on P.S. I Love You. I needed a couple pieces of ephemera. I had no ephemera, so I'm ordering that and waiting for that to come before I finish that mini album. I ordered uh, the Beach is Calling from graphic 45. Um, I got that in for January. 
I guess I'll have to put that in for February, even though I'm saying I don't want to get anything in February. We'll see if it comes beforehand. Uh, I want to do two additional mini album tutorials. I want to do my seven by seven mini album tutorial. I seem to do one every year. It's real popular. I want to update it. You know, we change the way we do things. We change. And um, yeah. And then I want to get 50 cards done for February. So I want to use P.S. I Love You, The Beach is Calling. I want to use a Be Adventurous, a paper I've had for about six or seven years. I put Let's Get Artsy with a question mark. I'm not sure if I want to work on that. I may, I may not. And I have this cat paper pad that I want to do something with, uh, whether it's cards or folios. I don't have enough for a mini album. I don't think. I'll take a look at it. It's cute paper. Um, my deadlines and commitments, my card hop every couple of weeks, and then nothing until the Crafty Goals video and the planner in March. So I don't have anything that I have to have to do except for the Instagram hop. But um, let's see if I do that. So my plan is to use five paper pads and buy zero. Oh, it says buy zero. So I won't buy any in February. I already bought it, so I don't have to. So these are all of the pads that I used for January. I don't know that I will fill up the board like I did for January in February. And then the final thing I wanted to show you is what is that? This is a box of cards I made. I made over 200 cards. Some were simple. See, this is that Let It Be collection. You might see it again later. I'm not going to show you all because I might use them for the hop. I did. Oh, let me take these. See, look, all that is cards. Plus, I have more. That is not it. Um, if you're curious, check out my Instagram or look at past videos. I used a sheet load. I used that Fairy Garden collection. Here's the dinosaur cards. Um, I just went through some of that single sheet paper and that had sort of a succulent theme. So I added some ephemera I had. More Fairy Garden. There's dinosaur. I used a stamp. I don't know why the light is crazy. I'll have to fix that. Um, more Fairy Garden. More of that dinosaur stamp. I can't show you the Harry Potter ones because they will be part of a hop coming up. This is part of the, uh, it was P13 uh, Forest Tea Party. And that's what I made the baby book out of. And this is from things I had left over. I just made some sort of mixed media cards. I just sort of had fun playing with it. And besides that, there's a lot of cards in that box using up paper. I'm not going to bore you with all of them. Some I did videos on, some are on Instagram, not all. Uh, I'll be better about it next month, but you know, I just was in a card making um, regime, just trying to get it all done. And I'm excited about that. So that is what I have for you today. Don't forget to check out all of the other collaborators. If you would like, join along, use the hashtag Hashtag Crafty Goals 2024 or the uh, other hashtag I'll tell you in a second because I forget it. Um, also Stash Busters 2024. The other hashtag is Smash Your Crafty Stash 2024. And that is what I am doing this year. I'm having supplemental videos on how I am smashing my stash. Usually I'll make one big project maybe a small folio. If not, I'm going to make cards or something else. I'm on a card making kick right now. I'm going to switch and do different things. I have a list of all different things I'm going to do, and I will keep adding to it. Uh, traveler's notebooks, mini traveler's notebooks, mini composition books, small notebooks, lunchbox, etc. Um, what I plan to do with that Be Adventurous, could sort of a camping theme for kids. I'm going to make some little paper uh, notepads to hand out to kids as we travel through the summer or or adults. It's cute. Um, so that's what I'm planning on doing with that. Just using a lot of it for that if I can't do anything as far as a mini album. That is what I have. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day.